Recently I reviewed the superb AGT Vixen, a keeper if ever there was one. Then several people told me I should take a look at the Uragan from the same guys at AGT. So here is the AGT Uragan. Time to put it through its paces. Welcome to AAR on Air. Today is indeed the turn of the Uragan, another beautifully designed and engineered PCP from AGT. Let's take a closer look at this standard length version, shall we? It is available in a compact option if you prefer. First thing that strikes you is this is superbly engineered and up with the top air guns and yet still seems to be lower in price. So can it really be any good without a more well-known name and bigger price tag. Let's take an overall look at this synthetic version. A walnut version of this lightweight bullpup is available if you prefer your wood. It is all black and is around 830 millimeters overall length, so it isn't the smallest bullpup you're likely to come across. It is quite possibly going to be one of the lighter ones at 3.5 kilograms unscoped, and it does hold that weight, or lack of it, very nicely balanced into the body. The 570mm barrel is the famous Cold Hammer Forge CZ barrel, which has won several competitions in its lifetime in various rifles over the years and indeed all over the world. So I'm expecting big things in the accuracy department a little later. It is nicely shrouded to keep the noise down and I must say it works really well. Below this barrel is a really large 530cc air tank and it's likely to result in blisters on your trigger finger before you run out of air, certainly in its sub 12 foot pound version. In full FAC version you can get 110 shots at full power in the 0.25 calibre version and an impressive 50 shots in the 0.30 calibre at a whopping 85 foot pounds. So this should hopefully satisfy the shooters who seem to want to play top trumps over whose rifle gets most shots per fill. The main thing to my mind is that you will get as many shots as you're likely to ever need in one go and yet it is still light due to its carbon construction. Moving back we come to the weaver rail for the scope of your choice which always makes life easier if you're going to change scopes and night vision on your gun on a regular basis. Below this is the biathlon style side lever cocking action which is interchangeable from left to right to not only make this gun truly ambidextrous but it also gives you more choices and options around your preferred cocking arm styles. It is superb, smooth in action with a smooth cam clicks not only on the return home but on the lock open when you load your magazine. That really is super smooth. Below and just forward of this is the filiport and gauge. The filiport has a nice dust plug that is inobtrusive and effectively efficient. The gauge is a black on white AGT logoed clear item which shows the 300 bar max fill pressure to make that 530cc tank capable of even more shots. Surely it's time to tuck it away and pull your trousers up now after that sort of comparing. The trigger is a two-stage item and is quite a broad blade and is fully adjustable to satisfy the fussiest of shooters. The first stage is quite short, but I prefer that to one that is far too long anyway. From this point back we move materials into the polymer based thumb hole style stock. The grip is quite ergonomic and comfortable and again would suit left or right handed shooters. 
Moving back, the top cheek rest, although very straight back and non-adjustable, is made of a comfortable beveled polymer to make this pretty comfortable. The only thing you may need to choose carefully, as you do with any type of guns, is the scope mount height for best personal alignment. Further back, we come to the magazine slot, which takes the magazine in from the left-hand side. But it is so snug when fitted, it doesn't cause any issues for either left or right-handers in use. The rear butt pad is rubberized and adjustable up and down, again to help with scope alignment and comfort. Now, the version I have here is the 177 sub 12 foot pound version and was over the chronograph hitting 712 feet per second using 10.34 grain pellets, which is 11.64 foot pounds or 15.8 joules. Now, these figures are also very consistent due to the very impressive regulator that's on board. This is available in 177, 22, 25 and 30 calibers and is available in both sub 12 and FAC versions. There are two magazines in each box which are high quality and easy and reliable to use. The 177 holds 15 rounds, the .22 holds 12, the 25 cal holds 10 and the .30 holds a full 9 rounds, which is quite impressive for something that tucks itself away so well, rather than blocking out the sun with a magazine as big as a dinner plate, which I've seen on some guns. Let's just take a look at loading up one of these two magazines that is supplied in the box, shall we? These are really nicely constructed and all you need to do is start by turning through around 10-15 degrees, drop in your first pellet, it won't come through provided you have it just slightly off centre of hole, drop in the second one and so on. It will lock into place once you put one in so it makes it easier to load or even partially load the magazines. Simple. Once you're fully loaded up with your maximum shots, simply pull back on the lever and drop straight into the gun. The safety on this is probably one of the most discreet safeties I've seen. It's one of the typical built into the trigger guard type with a push forward for fire and pull back for safe. It's not overly large, it doesn't get in the way of anything and it is nice and crisp. Now this also comes with a very nice quality padded carry case bag to keep everything nice and safe. That really is lovely and padded. It also comes supplied with its own dedicated fill whip and filler probe which simply screws straight onto your tank and keeps the flow of air under control. Also in the box is a nice key ring, a couple of O-rings and a pen. Time now I think to drop a high quality scope on this Uragan. I chose the superb 34mm Continental 4-24. Probably one of the nicest scopes I've tried in a long while. Let's get out onto the range and see if that barrel is as good as I'm expecting it to be because this is the sub 12 foot pound version, I'll shoot it out at the usual 40 meters and see how it copes.
Straight away, I should admit to not being at all surprised. I've tested the Vixen recently and I am refusing to part with it because these barrels are that good and up with the highest quality barrels I like and I personally use. You know, I could sit with this all day and keep trying to hone my skills with this complementing bullpup. Let's try doing this one in real time as fast as I can, shall we? It's incredible. The whole setup, the gun, the scope is awesome. Absolutely awesome. But fantastic. And that's snatching the trigger. It's not pulling. It's not taking any time. And that's out at 40 meters on tiny little gamo spinners, which are really great fun, by the way. Yeah, this really is an incredible piece of kit. Beautiful. Yeah, watch out everybody else. There's a new kid on the block. It is a beautiful gun and a delight to shoot. Is it expensive? Well, I suppose that is a relative question. At around £1,500 UK, it's probably out of a lot of people's reach. But if you're looking for a gun of this quality from the big branded names, you are likely to pay a lot more than that and to my mind, you certainly aren't getting more for your money than this will offer. And a session down the range will probably make some of the more expensive brands look a little like overpriced must-haves. As always, this is available in a package with this amazing Continental Scope from Vector for under £2,000. You know, it'll also make a great pest control tool. And with a tank this big, I hope you've got a big van to bring back all the booty. You're likely to be hitting accurately with this quality item. I must admit, the guys who said I should try this Uragan were right. It is a well-sorted gun and very enjoyable. Which I suppose is quite a weak DJ style link too. Hopefully you've enjoyed this week's review. If you have, please give us the old thumbs up, subscribe, share and click the reminding alarm bell. Don't forget to join in with all these platforms. Merch is available from the AAR On Air website, courtesy of the hardworking Mrs AAR. A really big thank you to Vector Air for getting hold of this Uragan for me uh -huh, to review as they're trying desperately to meet, currently meet the demand for the Vixens. And of course, above all, thank you to you guys for watching. It just leaves me to say, stay safe and shoot safe. And hopefully I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.